Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video we're going to talk about the difference yeah. between living in Sydney and versus living in the suburbia. Wait, 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 peacocks. We see peacocks in here. No, 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 I didn't <laughs> go to that way? area. But um, there are peacocks around our area. Yeah, in the suburb, um, I guess wild peacocks. They just walk around, go through, I guess, every house's inspection. <laughs> Don't know, looking so. for food, it was just so different lifestyle in here. But yeah, um, yeah I, I just went out for a walk, walked for half an hour. Still huffing and puffing, my face is red and had a shower. But quite a lot of people walking and then they see you, they will good morning or nod or smile. Versus CBD. Too many people. No, the, just, the thing is, too many people. How can you do it? Well, not just that. People, it seems to be where we live is about 10 minutes away from the CBD as well. In Sydney, you in mean? Sydney, we yeah. were. Yeah. We were in C um, mm -hmm. CBD where it's like 10 minutes where people just hustling and bustling, you know. Yeah. Um, at about seven o'clock, the bus is full. Yeah. Um, in here, the bus is very empty. <laughs> I didn't see any bus. Like, you haven't we, seen a bus. There's a bus. There's a bus stop around here, but I rarely see it. Maybe it comes every thirty or even sixty minutes. All oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it's not not convenient in here. That's yeah. the main thing. So it's not convenient in public transport. I think anywhere in suburbia is the same. You you tend to drive to mm -hmm. uh, a hub, and then you take the public transportation. Mostly is bus related in here mm. compared to Sydney, where it's accessible for ferries, train, train yes. um, as well as bus. Mm. Um, the frequency of it, because it's a smaller population in here, yeah. Um, the frequency is yeah about fifty, you know, uh, let's say an hour or so, at least once an hour, uh, versus mm. where we used to be, it's like every 10-15 minutes. Even five minutes. <laughs> but um, the thing is, well, in Brisbane, is half of the population compared to Sydney. Yep. But then the traffic is still the same. Yeah. I feel like it, like you're stuck in traffic. Like in I peak think, hour. Uh, yeah, in the peak hour, it gets worse because I remember yeah. I can go from, uh, if I have to leave before 9 a.m., mm -hmm. it will take me about an hour to get to the city from here. Mm -hmm. um, it, but after 9 a.m., it will take me about 20 minutes um, for the same distance drive. Yeah. So. Can, like when I go home in a pick out, that's why I try to go home just before the school hour or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What else? Space. You got a lot more space in here. I'm taking a lot of gardening, <laughs> which we haven't Look done. Look the back, yeah. So, which we don't have the luxury when we're living in the city. Uh, mm. When we're living in an apartment. Um, it's like your hobby now. Like every day, he's just watching YouTube about how to grow grass. <laughs> well, I've got no choice. I have to maintain this grass, like, otherwise it becomes yeah. really, really dry. Yeah, it hasn't been raining for, for some time. Yeah, so, um, like all of this greenery, um, I guess our hobby is a bit different and the space that we have, you know, kids have the play area mm. instead of one on top of us, or like on top of each other. Yep. Um, they fight less because they have a lot of space. Yep. <laughs> have the options to play whatever toys they've yeah, got. Yeah, they don't like each other, they walk away. Yeah. yeah. The other is school. The school, right? okay. Yep, let's talk about the school. Yeah, so I think where we live is quite quite a small suburb. It's not that many people in Currently here. in Brisbane? Yes, you currently yep. in Brisbane. So when, yep. I, when I was doing research in Sydney looking for Brisbane schools, mainly people's comments are, oh, the school are really big. A lot of kids in each school. Uh, yeah, so the high school, high school is like that in here. So high school, there's the first uh, school we're looking, it was like one of the biggest school in Australia, whole Australia, oh, because it? they have too many kids, yes. And then, um, but in Sydney, normally it's like 1,000 kids. I think it's just in a small area. They don't, they can't have too many campus. So they, they will have a small plot of land in here and then another not too far away and have another small block of land for another school. Yeah. But in here, I think it's just so big. They put a big land, God knows how many, <laughs> how many, how many cam um, campus in there. <laughs> yes, it's big school. And the land. But then, so cur the current school is like a little country school. It's only 200 kids. Yeah, compared, versus compared um, to a thousand kids. No, is that two hundred for the whole lot? Two hundred for the whole lot, like okay. from they they call prep. So I have to adjust to. So in Sydney, we call it kindy just before year one. So but in here, 
is prep school and kindy is before prep so i was like what <laughs> anyway. so you got prep and then kindy and no then the other one? way huh? kindy prep year one oh okay gotcha okay, yeah right anyway so our kids year one year two don't have to worry much <laughs> and um, then um now they have 200 kids it good and bad thing i'll say small school like you you, you got that's that group of friends yeah you, but you easy to find your friends mm-hmm you got a small number of friends instead of having groups, patches of groups of different friends. Like this is it. <laughs> but you got less opportunity yeah. to meet other people or or uh, learn other new things or group activity. Because, for example, our son he used to play soccer in school. Like, yeah. Because he got different activities and a lot of them play soccer. So he used to play soccer. But then here he doesn't play because everyone plays no one else is play soccer. Yeah, a yeah. different. I guess yeah. Mm. Um, the other one is uh, like everyone in here seems to be just pick up and drop off. Yeah, yeah. there's no. I, feel... I thought I thought I thought in um in suburb people tend to be more chill, get to know you, or maybe because we moved in in the middle of the the, the year. Yeah, and uh, that maybe, and sometimes we just can't really bother meeting new people. <laughs> it could also be like mostly because they all drive. They don't. Mm. They don't walk their kids to school. To school. Um, they just, you know, the, the kiss and drop area, let's say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, they, we don't have the time to mingle. No, so. we, we rarely meet any parents. So how we yeah. meet other parents is just through the kids. They write down a number, <laughs> give the paper to another parent. Yeah. That's how we meet. But it's a bit awkward. <laughs> Whereas yeah. previously, we go to the park up yeah. afterwards on, on a Friday. Uh, we it's, talk for at least yeah. about half an hour or it's something. It's the adult initiate that conversation, but yeah. now it's the kids taking initiation. It feels like this is just a lot smaller. Um, and because the park is not really on the way no. for us, it's not on the way home, it's not going on the way to, like, to school. Um, the park is a little bit further off and you actually need to drive to get to the park. Yeah, I could so. have walked, but that will be too tiring for the kids. On the on the side where the oh, movie the is, other one. on the yeah. other one, mm. but yeah, so it, everything in here is a bit wide, like spread out. Yeah, yeah. So um, you, yeah, you don't really chat because when we were in Sydney, we I, I missed that actually, I missed that. But like Friday, I always have a, like a part day with all the moms and kids play together, mm. uh, like ten kids, five moms or six moms, and we just chit chat. Sometimes go like after uh, too hot, grab some ice cream or oh no plan for dinner let's go for dinner like yeah. it means that like community but yeah. maybe there is some in Brisbane or we're just too we haven't found it just we yet. haven't, we haven't found, adjusted yeah. it yet. and uh, makes it harder as well because you work from home yeah so we, we both don't have colleagues in here <laughs> <laughs> the best of us are remote yeah. working mm -hmm. in here yeah. Um, so uh, I'm still got, I guess, the pleasure of able to go out and about and explore the mm. CBD. Mm. Oh, well, not just the CBD, the whole entire coastal, all the way to Sunshine Coast as well as Gold Coast. Whereas you, 100% at home, so at home yeah. in a computer. Yeah. So you don't see the exploration of it. You know, like just I came back. It was my first time walking out all by myself. I just walked half an hour. It was good. Like there's a little pond. There's some people feeding oh, yeah. duck. Yeah. Yeah, and then walk around this kids park, other park. There are a few people walking um, the, the the big round complex. Like just mm -hmm. walk around. It's really nice. Mm, okay, I yeah. haven't done that. We should really do that with the kids. Yeah, because there. in in Sydney, I what we do is just walk around the park, around and around, just like a rat race, around <laughs> and around. In, in a in a dog park. So there's Downstairs, a there's yeah. a big giant dog park mm -hmm. area. So we just go around that. Or if not, our thing is maybe go. When we go to school, we use we're, we're a lot more active because well you're a lot more active because you pick up and drop off Where? kids in Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, because on I your feel bicycle, like yeah. um, you know, the thing is you have to have the hassle. Get the bike out of the apartment, take the lift, push it. It's I feel like I have a lot more steps and and activities in Sydney mm -hmm. because everything is like a walking distance. And here you open the garage, you sit on your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go, That's we gotta be in the like car. I have to do like more, 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 more movement for myself. Yeah, it forces you to yeah. do something. Yeah. Whereas beforehand, yeah. it's like, well, this is part of my activity. Yes. I have to do it. Yes. Picking up and dropping off the kids with a bike, I have to go on a bike ride. Yeah. That's what Sometimes we need to if do. I drive, I have to drive park somewhere far. 
in Sydney and then have to walk yeah to whereas now it's like it's convenient you can park right there there's <laughs> always parking because <laughs> our, our school is very small and the suburbia is so big I um, think there are more parking than kids <laughs> I think so and then um, you know because we, we don't live in a high dense location mm -hmm. um, so that's a little bit still adjustment for yeah. us um, and yeah and the kids in here they don't they don't go to the park whereas we do because they've got their own front yard and backyard let's say yeah. so that way they don't go they don't need to go to the park and i've seen a couple of houses where they have trampolines and they swing and all that in their front yard or backyard i'm like okay well why would you need to go to the park yeah that's <laughs> so, right yeah yeah everything at home yeah so the majority of the activities at home we've gone to there's a park like a few minutes down the road from here oh it's a small one yeah and it's always empty yeah <laughs> never met anyone there um whereas in sydney sometimes they have to wait for a long time just for a swing yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, like okay that person playing in swing so we gotta play something else um so what else is the difference no food um the, f the, the, the air I, I the air quality the air. Yeah, so. feel like feel like a lot are fresher, or maybe because we wake up, we have to wake up so early. You woke up oh, at yeah. five this morning. Yeah. The sun's out so early. I even set up my alarm at five thirty, and why is my alarm not buzzing? Not even five thirty. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I think also because there's less noise pollution in here, mm. you're you're well rested. Yeah, you slept right. so early too. Slept so early yeah. because everything is so dark. Yeah, it's so dark and quiet. <laughs> yeah. Because it's dark, quiet. Yeah, the sleeping quality is a lot better because when we were in in apartment in Sydney, it's just dogs or people were having party or playing loud music or even yelling. We can hear them. Yeah, and we hear there's a pub underneath downstairs. downstairs yes. Where is it here? You, you, I don't even know where the nearest pub is. Yeah. So, um, and the fluorescent light, the street light, is very bright. I mean, we do have a street light in here. Um, thank, luckily, like there's actually street light right in front of our in mm. front of our house, so it's always bright at the front of the house. I feel quite secure, though. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have to use my electricity yeah. for the front door. Oh yeah. <laughs> Instead of using that, the I street light. Leave the yeah. street light on. Mm. Um, what else is there? Mm. I think, like everything in here is a drivable. It's, it's like 10 minutes, 15 minutes drive. But I think it's still, you have to look for parking, you have to go early. Just like yeah. anywhere. We can, we can have to go early. Yeah. Because everyone's doing the same um, routine as you. Like yeah. We can go early, go market, um, buy food or kids' activities. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I found if a popular area is hard to find parking as well. So for example, we went to the library at about 9 o'clock and it, we Not didn't know. There. It does not open till ten o'clock on the weekend. Yeah. So luckily, um, the library in here is actually on this shopping center. Yes. So um, you know we had to um, go to do our other grocery shopping. Mm. Um, you know to kill time as soon as that happened, and we went to the library. Um, and great going in there first thing in the morning because you can find easy access parking. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So once um, we were just around lunchtime, it's just At lunchtime, we're horrible. Like, we try mm. to avoid. <laughs> yeah, spices. either go like three o'clock in the afternoon or, or nine or ten in the morning. Yeah, that could that. The only reason we did it at that time is because we already wake up at that time. Yeah, we woke up at five. <laughs> so five, six. It's getting earlier and earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Anything else? No, next time we'll make a video at five, maybe. <laughs> Well, it's like, okay, so I wake up at five o'clock, so what am I going to do? All right, I'm just going to make a video and yeah. go from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> anyway, that's okay. just our two cents, guys, our update. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you next time. Bye. Bye.